The following is a non-profit Let's Play. Even though it does comprise of music owned by artists and all of its intellectual properties, this is a fair use. Although AdRev and Vivo will not try to abide by this. They'll put ads on the video or block it. If this video is not blocked, make sure that they don't get the satisfaction of having ads by using ad blocker on every single part. Thank you. Welcome to part 12 of Saints Row the Third. And what I've been doing off screen is practically completing the Tank Mayhem missions, which after you've complete all of them between uh, two of the Morning Stars districts, we now get the Guardsmen as gang customization. Also, I found the, no actually it's not that I found this, I'm going to get my revenge on the fact that I wasn't able to take out this gang operation back in part, I do believe it was 11 that I tried to do this with the jet, or should I say the helicopter, but unfortunately that did not come to pass because before I could, the uh, Morningstar helicopters came to try to kill me, and I'm going to hop back in my emu and I'm going to drive away, drive away. This thing's incredibly fast for a very small car. <laughs> I'm driving away on my cloud car. In fact, I'm close to a already bought area, so fuck you guys. Haha, <laughs> fuck you guys. Moving on. Alright, now we've also completed Snatch. And because we completed Snatch, that means the Snatch here is done. And that, for, and that basically meant the Morning Start, the third Morning Start District is almost complete and we can get hose for gang customization yeah we're halfway done of completing this one awesome isn't it all right this is the gang territory that constantly disappear when i use the helicopter for some reason it's payback time i might as well just try to clear out as much as i can okay that was actually pretty cool but at least if i just Cause a lot of gang members to drop. I should have used a Molotov, actually. That would have been a lot more safer. But hey, I've improved my shotgun. I've improved one of my uh, SMGs, and I've improved the grenade. So yeah, the blast back was insane on that one. So I'm just gonna take this car and drive away. Yeah, you guys can't catch me. Oh wait, they, they, maybe they can. Okay. Maybe they definitely can, because I just lost a wheel. Ah, who cares? Drive it away! And now we're going to actually discover another gang territory. Because after... Oh, gang operation. Because after all, the only reason why I'm going after these gang operations is because of 100%. Alright, this one is here in the factory. However, you have to either A, on foot, or B, in the air lower your helicopter to come on come on not there nope 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 bad rv man bad rv man come on you're you're doing you're doing things stupidly you're just gonna have to lower yourself over to this area here and if you see this gang operate, yeah, you can see the cluster here. That means there's a gang operation. Just in case people are wondering how to find these without any guides. So, just open fire on this cluster and start killing them off. Hey, wait a minute. Hold on. What the hell? It disappeared again? God damn it. We'll come back to this in a little bit. I'm going to retreat for now and do this on foot. But first, I found another gang operation. As a matter of fact, I think this is the gang operation. Actually, no, I didn't find this one on, on in a helicopter. I just happened to stumble upon this one doing the uh, escort missions. So, yeah, there's that. Uh-oh, I'm about to die. This isn't good. Uh, I'll try to kill as many of these guys as I can. I'm going to take them down with me at least. I could just retreat. See, this is why I need healing items. Because, see, 
Yeah, healing items would help a lot. Having regeneration is all well and good, but if you're trying to aim and you're getting shot at, it's not going to help you much. <sighs> ah, nope, nope. Oh crap, I should have used the, uh, I really should have used the uh, Molotov or something. Yeah, this was beyond stupid. Oh god. And I still won and got the uh, gang operation, but yeah, in the end I died. Kind of sucks, doesn't it? Oh well. We'll go back to this gang operation I tried to kill earlier, and this time on foot, these guys aren't going to get away. I have Molotovs! Try and stop me, you bastards! Okay, maybe they can. I need to buy some more grenades I'll later. This one. Ah, look at them all just die. Honestly, I really wish I would have hit them all in one spell swoop. But for some reason, when I was actually clearing out all of these uh, gangsters in this gang operation, well, they all just randomly disappeared, which is stupid. I don't know why they did that, but they just did. You're the one who actually offset that in the first place, asshole. So we are pretty much done with half of the gang territories. Yeah! That means we are over 50% of... Actually, no, we're over 40% of the game done. We're not over 50% just yet. Oh, no. We're about to do that right now in our next mission which we are going to start taking on the Luchador starting mission. This is one of those proven ground things. Just like with Zemos and also like with Kinsey later on. We're going to have to meet Angel de la Morte and or Angel de la Morte, whichever one you want to prefer to. And we are going to um, do some fear training. Yeah, training to remove any sort of fear, and it'll help us against Killbane. You want to know what actually will help us against Killbane? Putting a bullet in his ass. But, unfortunately, that won't be the case. Apparently, Angel wants to do more than just pop a cap in his ass. He wants to humiliate Killbane, crush Killbane. And he wants to see if I have the guts or the fortitude to actually do this. So this is primarily going to be the remove your fear sort of training. God damn! Why are you living in this shithole? To remind me of what Kilbane took from me. It keeps me focused. Mm, whatever works for you, man. I'm just saying. I like my place to have some working heat. So you hate discomfort. That's the sort of weakness that luchadors will capitalize on. Unless you harden up, Kilbane will crush you. But don't worry, I'll chisel you out of diamond. How? By making you experience the worst pain imaginable. Now come on, it's time for you to play in traffic. Right on, wait, what? In case you guys noticed, yeah, that was your best around being played in the background. Well, we're going to be doing insurance fraud yet again. And here's the thing, folks. I had already discovered instances of insurance fraud in the Morningstar territory. So I've already showed off one of these things. This is a mandatory mission, basically. Unlike with the insurance fraud I showed off, which actually wasn't mandatory, this is. And it's going to be the Luchador and Decker strings of um, missions that will show off um, activities we've already done. It's gonna cost you. And me, I'm just constantly running in the cars because I can. Ouch. That really hurt. Adrenaline time! Time to fly! Whee! Oh god, whee! Yep. Let's make this one count. If there was ever a doubt that I would actually think Saints Row, I do believe, 2 for 
okay, thanking Saints Row 3 for not actually having the uh, damage be done to you whenever you do things like this. This is one of those times. I mean, Saints Row 2 damage actually is taken off of you if you get hit really hard or happen to phase out for some reason. I don't know. It was a glitch. Because you weren't supposed to take damage, but in Saints Row 2, you did. But insurance fraud is one of three. No, yeah, one of three that we're going to be doing today. And the next is trailblazing. I'm pretty sure everybody remembers trailblazing from Saints Row 2 because that's the game it made its debut in. However, uh, this will be the last time we will see trailblazing because... After Saints Row 3, Saints Row 4 puts its own spin on trailblazing, i.e. Uh, the super, the speed blazing, I guess. But whatever the case, trailblazing is you being set on fire while driving in a uh, four-wheeler and running into traffic is what's going to increase the time in trailblazer. By the way, Far Cry 5 actually does something like this as well. I think it's the Clutch Nixon uh, missions, I do believe. And one of those missions is you being set on fire while driving a four-wheeler. I'm really starting to think that Far Cry is taking some inspiration from Saints Row, but that's just me. Now then, um... You need to try to wreck people as much as humanly possible to gain some seconds on the clock just so you can make it from checkpoint to checkpoint. It's not that hard. Now, there is an egregious one later on, but trailblazing is really fun. Just running through things and blowing things up. And blowing things up is actually fun. I like this one. And yeah, I just started. I didn't mean to, but hey, it happens. And by the way, yeah, I managed to also buy the ability of 10% uh, respect bonus. So yeah, you've noticed that I'm gaining a 10% respect boost every time I play an activity or a mission. Well, actually more like an activity, yeah, to say the least. Because I had enough money to buy that respect bonus. And now it's time for us to go to the last activity of this part. And that is going to be Escort. Yeah, Escort is going to be uh, the last activity. Now, I know what you're thinking. What does escorting people around who's making love in the back have to do with fear training? Well, there's a difference. That's Zemos' version. This is <laughs> Angel de la Morte's version of, of Escort. Because Angel thinks it's a good idea to ride with a tiger in the passenger seat of the car, <laughs> scraping at you <laughs> while running away from the zookeepers who is spooking the tiger even more. Now, here's the thing. The tiger will actually maul you if the animal rage goes higher meaning you would have to actually do a power slide to make the animal rage go down and if he mauls you enough well guess what you're going to die he'll start actually chewing into your health because again even if you have invincibility from Rex from fire and from bullets and from fall damage Physical damage can still kill you. Yeah, they won't make you completely invincible. That would be absurd. Whatever the case, folks. All you have to do is keep up your speed and keep away from the paparazzi. Oh, God. And if you stop and slow down, the animal rage will also increase as well. So, yeah. Driving with a tiger in the passenger seat of the car... This is something nobody would expect it. However, get used to this because this will no longer be around for Saints Row 4 because, well, they have their own uh, different activities. Yet they keep insurance fraud and yet they also keep 
uh, blazing, I suppose. But, with that said, Tiger Escort is done. And that's fucking hilarious that there's a tiger there. Now, sometimes it can get annoying because a tiger can actually cause you to veer off of a bridge or veer into a cliff. Something akin to that kidnapping mission in Grand Theft Auto 4. Kidnapping Gracie was the worst. But we managed to defeat all of the missions Angel, where are you? in uh, the Luchador string for the time being in Act 1. We won't be able to take on the Luchadors till near the end of the game. So don't even worry about them coming back for now. They're, they're settled. That's pretty much what uh, on well, Angel de la Muerte has for you to try to have your proving ground for Killbane. But we're going to have to, like I said, wait till the end of the game. And that also means we're going to have to complete Hoboat in order to uh, move any further throughout the game. Oh, God have mercy when we move further throughout the game. There's a group you don't want to meet. Even though you kind of have to, that will cause a lot of restrictions in the map, even though there wasn't any restrictions before. Thankfully, off screen, I managed to do everything in Aparachi Island that needed to be done. So with that said, let's go over to Angel's Casino and express our displeasure with having to be slashed up by a tiger. But at least the fear trading worked, right? A fucking tiger? If you're fighting the luchadors, you need to be ready for anything. A fucking tiger? Don't lose the message in the method. You mastered your fear. What the fuck is wrong with you? You're ready to face Killbane, but the luchadors must still be dealt with. You know where to find me if you need more training. And with that said, ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the Luchadors for now. See you guys in part 13 when we actually take on Kinsey String, much to my utter dismay. And this will also be a proving ground for the Deckers. See you guys next time. Peace out.